Hello, man. Let me explain today. There's two kinds of structures. There's male structure and there's female structure in groups. MGTOW has a structure that has already uh, been established. Some of the guys say MGTOW doesn't have a structure. It doesn't have leaders, but it does have a structure and it does have leaders. And I'll explain why. Okay, men, i.e. you and me, have a structure like this. It's a hierarchy structure, hierarchical. Women have a structure of non-authoritarian structure that looks like this. Okay, do you get that? You can go back and look or freeze it or look again, but okay, that's the way it is. So let's talk a little bit about the structure of MGTOW. MGTOW does have a structure, and it's a hierarchical structure. I talked about this a little on my uh, recent uh, podcast. Uh, when you first come into uh, MGTOW, or you first come into this uh, this group, we call it Red Pill, and Red Pill is non-sustainable. Red Pill philosophy in itself is working through Red Pill rage after being exposed to the truth about gender dynamics. What is gender dynamics? Gender dynamics is the relationship, the interactions between men and women and boys and girls. Gender dynamics are formed by uh, social cultural ideas about gender and the power relationships, power relationships that are that define them depending on how they are manifested uh, in society. Gender dynamics can reinforce or challenge existing norms. That's what we're doing here in MGTOW. We're challenging in Red Pill. In Red Pill, they're saying they're challenging existing norms. Red Pillars get exposed as newbie learners and young men. And sometimes in that Red Pill society over there they got is women, but women can't really be MGTOW. They can go WIGTOW, but they can't be MGTOW. And they start growing. They start growing in their knowledge of gender dynamics between men and uh, women. They're sort of like little babies, little baby MGTOWs. Uh, MGTOW has always been, understandably, uh, a small group of men that hold higher values, monks, and you grow into this and you hold a higher value and you carry the torch for MGTOW. And underneath, understandably, like in the first uh, structure, it's a male structure. So you have a hierarchy, you have, you know, 10, 12 people up there and you have a, a structure of guys that stay around. And that may go 50, 60. And then you have a... Uh, and then you have a larger structure on the bottom of red-pilled individuals that kind of get it, and that's who we're talking to, and that's the structure. The longer you stay around here, you become more, more prominent in the structure, and people listen to you, and you grow a following, and that's the structure. So when you hear uh, people say that, oh, MGTOW is not a group, and it has no structure, well, their alternative of their, their non-authoritarian group and structure is a female structure. It's not a male structure. Nobody has to explain the male structure to the men. You just know it. You're a man. And that's all you need to know about the structure in the leadership of MGTOW. There's a lot of guys that have been around a long time. And they're not red pill. They're not red pill raging anymore. From the inception of red pill rage... You have to go through that. You have to learn all that stuff, and then you calm down. And that's the newbies. And then you have the monks that have been here a while. They've been around. They've seen it all. And they're going, hey, you know, just stick around long enough to learn this stuff. And that's all I wanted to talk about today. You guys have a great day. Thanks a lot.